Ah, <laughs> where is this growl coming from? Oh, that was written really cool. I've got a quick question to ask you before we start the main part of the video. Let me know in the comments below how many of my Damas Senapati videos you have watched. How many of my reaction and analysis videos to Damas Senapati have you watched? And I would absolutely love that if the answer is more than one, that you make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. By doing so, you are actively supporting my channel and letting YouTube know that you enjoy the content over here. But also, I'm just mega nosy and intrigued to see how many of my Damas Senapati videos you've watched. If this is your first time over here though, thank you for clicking onto this video and joining in. Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer Glatzo for Be You Call Me Jen. I am a singer and a voice teacher and yes, today I will be reacting to Damas Senopati's I Don't Want To Talk About It Rod Stewart cover. I love exploring this singer's voice. I think his singing is very versatile and it's just, it's beautifully shocking at the same time because of the depth and commitment he goes into his vocals. They're just, it's just so wonderful and I can't wait to jump into it. I can't wait to talk about it. Yes, this is a reaction and an analysis video so we'll be talking about the vocals. Do be expecting pauses. If you'd rather watch the full thing uninterrupted then I have left the link to the original video in the description below. But if you find yourself enjoying what I'm talking about over here and enjoying the kind of vibe, <laughs> do go and check me out over on Patreon. There's lots of fun things going on over there. Right, let's get to it. Okay, I love that he's actually popped the lyrics on here. That's uh, mega helpful. Um, something that I don't do. <laughs> uh, but yeah, really, really nice. What I find so magical about his voice is that he can have such depth. Like his entrance to the line here was so like, it had like a depth to it, a, a dark kind of quality. But then suddenly we're like, brightening up his vocal tracks like a lot shorter we get in this kind of bright pingy sound and it's just incredible how we can have like two opposite ends of the uh vocal feeling tone but at the same time like it's i can tell so uh I can tell. And then he's up there. I know I'm really exaggerating. He didn't sound like that, but uh, uh, we have like a, a, a sort of breathier onset there. I can tell by your eyes yeah. that you probably been crying forever. Forever. And yeah, he's maintaining this bright kind of quality throughout. And it just keeps this kind of energy flow consistent. It's consistently um in this same quality for him. And it's just, it's, it's just it he just manages it and navigates it really, really beautifully. Probably been crying for so soft, it's lovely. And the stars in the sky. And he's like showcasing a beautiful connected voice as well. Uh, and the stars in your eyes. It's like nothing's pressed. It's very soft. It's very uh, uh, legato and just like beautiful. And then mirror. As he comes down to his lower notes, there's a little bit of breath creeping in. And I love that open vibrato. Mirror, mirror. Sorry, just listen to how beautiful. <laughs> I don't know. There's a little bit of a growl, a little bit of um, playing around with the distortion. And again, sometimes he's choosing to be really connected with his vocals. We get clear, like his vocal folds are closing all the way when they're vibrating. And sometimes he's showing us a little bit of breath and vulnerability. It's really lovely. Um, dynamically, we've got a little bit louder than a little bit softer as well. So he's really showcasing that. And Aspera on set. Oh, 
too much. Uh, sorry, I know I paused in a really <laughs> bad place there. Um, but I just love, again, how like bright the placement is. He's keeping that continuously throughout these phrases. Everything's really lovely and connected, not pressed at all. And there's a slight like twang in there as well. You can hear this lovely bright ping in his voice, which is, again, helping it, helping with the brightening of the sound. If I stay here, want to listen to my heart. that was written really cool um but i like here how we had like lovely soft legato notes and here we're really kind of coming off of them and we need to make sure that it's not like we're black Da, 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 blah, and like releasing and like relaxing and everything. We need to make sure because we're still up there, need to hit that same note again. We need to make sure that we're still connected so we have that next note that comes in. It's like pitch wise, it's right where we need to be. And he's getting really, really close with the mic as well. I, I think I've said this before. I just love hear the feelings of his songs and covers because it seems so relaxed and just like, yeah, let's, I think it's good to record. Let's set up the camera. <laughs> I just love it. If I stand all alone, will the shadow hide the colors of my heart? Blue for the tears, black for I the keep night. That quality. Clear the stars in the sky. Oh, I get mirrored. So warm down there. I just can't get over how like smooth his vocals are in this. What he's doing here as well. Uh, won't you? A little bit. Li little bit. He's actually maintaining quite a, a wide mouth position there. Little bit. And he is pressing onto his vocal folds to get that distortion in this territory. As he ascends, he is including a lot more of distortion with the false vocal folds. But here there's a little bit of a press. We can see this because, like, li he's, like, letting it kind of stay in this spread position. And that he uh we've heard him sing and use this quality before that's what feels comfortable to him but i love how he's like not going fully for it with the distortion he's just letting it creep in a little bit if i stay here just a little bit longer and he gets on the locker as well if i stay here want to listen to my heart and then goes and I just love how like he's able to go from like little bit and have a little bit of that distortion and growl in there and then ha ha whatever like it's just so soft uh, and breath led again. intrigued by that computer in the back as well um i really uh, like i love how the uh, the guitar is mimicking obviously in the in this solo that we're hearing from the guitar mimicking kind of what uh damas was doing vocally but i just love this softer quality even though it's uh very different to what we've heard well what i've heard for uh, over on my you know what i've reacted to and broken down of his vocals previously we have listened to a ballad before actually i'm trying to think what one it was but yeah it's just really lovely and open it's got this lovely warm feel but then he is still playing with that distortion in there as well so bringing 
his own spin to this cover, like including what we know Damas enjoys doing. <laughs> See here, because all the vowels are quite open, I don't want to talk about everything here is quite relaxed, but he's still including the same kind of like, ah, ah, <laughs> where is this growl coming from? It's a bit more of like a throat kind of growl. Uh, but whereas with the listen vowel, because of the li, listen, because we naturally want to like listen, we're going to feel, uh, if we want it as close to the same, like the, the true vowel as we would when we speak it, it would be a lot more spread. So that's why the larynx wanted to lift a bit. Whereas here, because the vowels are a bit more open, the larynx kind of is in a bit more of a neutral position. Obviously it's gonna move depending on wherever it feels like, you know, we don't want it to be trapped in any position. But yeah, I love how, because the mouth is a lot more on an A vowel, um, it's just a lot more settled in. <laughs> We had like a little break and a glottal onset there was just really, really cool. I love like all while still inc including lots of like growls and just like a distortion kind of, uh, or well, just a little bit, yeah, of that growl in there. He's still maintaining lovely full vocal fold closure. We're still getting a clear sound and that twang in there, again, that brightening ping that we're hearing um, just to brighten that sound is really helping with the overall fullness and volume. He's not shoving lots of, vo like he's not thinking, like heaps of volume, that twang is really helping him there. Oh, my heart. If I stay here just a little bit longer, if I stay here, want to listen to my heart. That was an interesting story. Stop with the guitar, that caught me off guard. To my heart. Yeah, I love how each time we've come back to this um, lyric, it's because it's been very, very soft, very um, like contrasting the uh, uh, growliness that we heard before. If I stay here, want to listen to my heart. Uh. Lovely. My heart. Oh. My heart. Ooh. Oh. Oh, see, I love the natural kind of feel of it. It's really lovely. And then at the end, we had an added. Um, a harmony there which was interesting it would have been cool like you know i wonder what it would have sounded like with it more throughout the song um but yeah i love that uh at the end we had a little bit more of a playfulness with the notes as well a little bit more of like some riffs some little runs at the end of the phrases My heart. and the way he presses onto that leans into it That was really beautiful. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, I loved that it wasn't, um, it's not like we have to be distorted all the time and shove lots of like, or go too much. Sometimes too much might be like, well, we've taken away from the meaning of the song, but it was like at the right moments and it was still very much him and what we know him you know, what he brings to the songs. I really like that. I mean, I think I said it already through in this uh, video, but I love how he creates one moment. He's he's like grasping a lot of like warmth from our thicker folds as he kind of vocal fries onto the note. But then at the same time, he's got a lovely ping to his voice and it's like the vocal tract is a little bit shorter and he does it quite suddenly. So, you know, 
the choices he makes to continue with the lines and the energy and the flow and the tone that he wants within the voice is really really interesting and it keeps us very intrigued to f just to see what kind of choices he brings into the next line if you enjoyed this video please do go and hit that subscribe button and the bell button make sure to go and check me out over on patreon as well and i'll see you very soon for another video